have to go to SBG and do a media day for Monster Energy, my main sponsors. So we'll go down there, do like media and a signing thing, and then BBC NI are coming down. I think uh, I'm going to be on the BBC NI news tonight up home. Go side guard, just up, yes? Now you got to finish. Get that elbow down. The field has been one of, if not the biggest event to happen in Ireland. Huge fight for James, coming off a loss. You know, it was a first round uh, defeat. His first time he's experienced that in his young career. So uh, a large part of the training camp, of course, we're always trying to improve our technical side of things, but also was mentally preparing for walking back out again and uh, getting that one back. So yeah, it's, it's gone very well. Range is free, weight's on target. He's in a great uh, place mentally. Uh, we got to go back out and do the reverse now. We got to go back out and get a first round win. Fighters first time dealing with that. It's, it's interesting to see how they're going to deal with that level of adversity. Uh, James talks a big game. He's big on social media, so he got he got it. Take it down a few pegs with that and get to put up it a lot. But he took it like a professional that he is. He took it on the chin. He recognized where he went wrong with the build up, both physically and mentally. We've made some changes in the training camp. I'm very, very happy with how everything went. And I'm looking forward to him getting back in the win column on Saturday. Let's get some good wins from all the Irish fighters and then James take it home, go out, and uh, I would love to see a first round submission. The three of you, you've been some massive nights there. I was just looking on the wall, BMC Dublin one. The fans are that big. Can we expect to see another another great night of the day in Dublin? That's what I believe it's building to be, that, that famous night at uh, UFC Dublin. Connor made a great comeback and all the Irish fighters were successful in their fights. So I'd love to see if we could get even close to matching that, and that electric atmosphere that we had on the night. Um, fingers crossed, that's what we can do. You can never do these like a proper punch. They've been like, to close your face and they're all you have to Chris, he's not coming with me to the 6 o'clock show, huh? No, 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 no. How did he get out of that? Sorry? How did he get out of that? <laughs> Tell us the Jimmy show. I don't need motivation to do something I love every day. So I don't have to wake up every day and be thankful that I don't have to go up and do a job that I don't like. I get to go out next week and main event in my home country in front of the sold out for arena. I don't, I don't need motivation for that, that's something I want to do, that's something I would get up every day and walk, that's what I aspire to, do you know what I mean, this is what I've been dreaming of, so I don't need motivation to wake up in the morning and do this. Was there any regrets at all, like, or even a sense that maybe things came too quickly, no? No, there's no regret when you learn something, there's no regret from getting beat, because it's made me learn, and it's made me learn something that I didn't know before, and I'm grateful for it and thankful for it and I feel that it's put me into the stratosphere. It's, it's not a setback, so it isn't as put me forward. And that's how I use it and that's how world champions deal with these kind of things. It's that world champion mindset and that's what I've got and that's what I've used to get myself back in here and that's what I've used to come into the gym every day and keep that mindset and keep that focus and I'm going to show it on Saturday night. And just my final question, if I gave you 50 euro and you have to put it on a round and a method on Saturday night. How would you, how would you bet be? Two minutes fifty rear neck choke in the first round. Specific. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm only twenty-two years old. People forget this. I've got years ahead of me. I've got. I could go for another fifteen years fighting. Do you know what I'm saying? And I've already got ten years behind me. So I've, I'm in this game a long time, I've got a long time ahead. World titles are inevitable for me. I am born to be a world champion. Streams come into reality here. This is what it is for me. It's, since I've been a young kid working towards this and now it's all unfolding in front of me, I can make a living off it. And nothing, nothing could be more better for me right now. It's my biggest one. I'm going bigger. And that's just the way it is for me now. I'm at that kind of level that everyone's the biggest one. And, People are going, oh, you have something to prove, you have this to prove. I've got nothing to prove to anyone. Not one person might go in here to prove anything to. If you're with me, thank you very much. I, I love you just as much. But the only thing, that, the only person I've got something to prove to is myself. And that's the, what I intend to do. I intend to go out here on Saturday night and prove something to myself and put on a show for the Irish people that support me. While I'm proving something to myself. Cage after I beat this fella. And just show my respect to everyone that has come out, bought the tickets and showed up and show how thankful I am for all these people that come out and inspire me to get these wins and 
helped me inspire other people and it just means the world to me and I'm looking forward to doing it. It's just a waiting game now and I'm calm, focused, switched on. I've got that m mindset on now, I'm going out here to put this guy away and that's what my intentions are.